This module is about capturing the GTIN 13 in a linear GS1128 barcode and a 2D GS1 data matrix. When capturing the GTIN 13 in either of these barcode types, you need to include a leading zero. The GTIN 13 is shown with a leading zero in these two barcodes. The linear GS1 one to eight barcode and the 2D GS1 data matrix. This is because the GTIN field in these two barcodes is a fixed length of 14 digits. The leading zero acts as a filler character to pad out this field. It does not change a GTIN 13 into a GTIN 14. What if the GTIN 13 is captured without the leading zero? as shown here. Here the GTIN 13 has been entered without the leading zero and the barcode image generating software, knowing this is a fixed length of 14 digits, has created and added the check digit at the end, creating a brand new number. This is now a GTIN 14. When we search using the GTIN 14 in the GS1 party registry, we'll see it's assigned to a completely different company. For a GTIN 14 starting with 5-0, we expect this to be assigned to a GS1 UK member. This is a GS1 US member. This GTIN 14 is created from a GTIN 12, starting 601, by adding 5-0 to the GTIN 12, creating a brand new number. But this number is issued to a completely different company. This demonstrates the importance of adding the leading zero to the GTIN 13 when capturing it in these two barcodes. It is also important to note that you need to include the leading zero when entering the GTIN 13 into a regulatory database.